News. WJZ first to report on air today that Baltimore City State's Attorney Marilyn Mosby is now facing federal charges of perjury and making a false statement on a loan application. That federal indictment came down just hours ago. Hello, everybody. I'm Denise Koch. And I'm Lynn Bowie. We have live team coverage. Kelsey Kushner has reaction from the community, but we start with Mike Halgren, who's been going through this indictment. Mike, you've been digging through the charging documents, and what have you found? Lynn Denise, this case revolves around Mosby's personal finances, not allegations of any wrongdoing on the job. There are allegations that she lied on loan applications for two vacation homes in Florida. We know the federal government has been painstakingly looking into her finances for about a year now. Uh, among the allegations is that she lied about her past tax obligations and how one of the vacation homes would be used in order to obtain a lower interest rate. Longtime Baltimore City State's Attorney Marilyn Mosby has been indicted on multiple counts of perjury and making false statements on loan applications for vacation homes. The federal government alleges she also took a withdrawal from her 401k account that was improper, saying she needed the money through a COVID-19 hardship withdrawal. Mosby makes more than $200,000 a year on the job. I, I couldn't tell you what would place a target. I can just tell you that in this position, I'm going to always do what I believe is in the best interest of my city and my community and public safety. Whether that makes me a target is on a, someone else. The federal investigation has been going on for months as the U.S. Attorney's Office has been combing through the top prosecutor's personal financial records. Representatives of the U.S. Attorney's so, Office previously like declined to comment. We never discuss uh, the existence or non-existence of any investigation. Mosby has long denied any wrongdoing in the case. So I'm not going to discuss that matter. I would refer you to my attorney. Here is an image from the indictment of Mosby saying that she has experienced adverse financial consequences stemming from the coronavirus, including being quarantined and having reduced work hours. There were two withdrawals from her 401k account that the government alleges were improper, one for $40,000 and another for $50,000, made between May and December of 2020. The counts carry a total of 70 years in prison if Mosby is found guilty. Previously, her attorney alleged she was being targeted politically. So she's been sued by the police before. She certainly stood up and prosecuted cops for Freddie Gray. And we have reached out to her attorney today for new comment. We have not heard back. City Council President Nick Mosby, her husband, is not listed as a defendant in this indictment. And no hearing date has been set. This case has been assigned to a fairly new federal judge, Lydia K. Grigsby, who is a Baltimore native. Reporting live at City Hall, Mike Helgren, WJZ. Thank you, Mike.